both of my grandfathers were, were coal miners. My mom and dad were uh, very hardworking. Neither went to college, so I was a first-generation college grad. It influenced me, very hardworking people. Incoming Tarleton president, Dr. James Hurley, hails from a challenging heritage, but one with great promise for those with the eyes to see. I was raised in a little coal town, a little coal camp called Chavez, Kentucky, and uh, literally lived uh, maybe 50 meters uh, from the, the railroad tracks that would bring the coal out of the mountains and take it to the rest of the world to be utilized. Like the coal train, carrying underappreciated cargo destined to fuel our plants, eat our homes, Dr. Hurley recognized an even more important cargo to be developed, the minds and talents of the overlooked young people surrounding him. Well, I love the people of East Kentucky. I, I love the fact that I was raised in an area where values were very much like the values here in Texas. From the coal-based economy of East Kentucky to the oil, cattle, and farming economy of West Texas, Dr. Hurley's move has been natural. From the moment we accepted the job until the day we started was like 21 days. Everyone's been so kind, the faculty, the staff, the students, and the community. It's been really nice. My mantra has always been, without vision, the people will perish, right? That comes out of the good book. We want to define our future. We do not want those around us to define our future. We don't want circumstances to define our future. So for us, strategically, we have to think about really becoming the premier comprehensive regional university in the country. And to do that, we have to be a first choice destination in this region. President Hurley recognizes the potential in the lives of students and prospective students in our region. He and his staff are committed to the hard work it takes to see results, amazing results. After all, every diamond began as the lump of coal. Those high school seniors that we know are going to be game changers, if you will, in the communities, we have to ensure that we keep them here. So if we recruit them from the region, train them in the region, they'll stay in the region. And thus this re region will prosper. Our pathway programs with their community colleges to ensure that students can seamlessly transfer from an associate's degree to a bachelor's degree, like our Waco and Midlothian and Fort Worth campuses, those are really, really important programs because we have to meet those needs. And institutions like Tarleton can do that. President Hurley's short time at Tarleton so far has seen the university move to D1 athletic status, a huge accomplishment with exciting benefits for Tarleton's academic potential as well. What it allows us to do is tell more people more broadly about Tarleton. And I've always said that as long as we're an educational institution, academics will always be the most important focus. How do we use this athletic profile to, to raise awareness for all of our programs. So I want to see a day where winter fine arts department, and, and pick any, pick theater, pick choir, band, it does jazz, quartet, it doesn't matter. I want to see where we're filling those arenas just like we would a football or a basketball. And we do that by raising this profile. We were created as an institution of opportunity. And that, and that opportunity has evolved from the College of Agriculture and Agricultural Opportunities to this comprehensive regional public institution we are today. But when half of your students are first gen, over half of your students are at the poverty level, meaning they're Pell eligible, that means opportunity. So institutions like Tarleton that are providing opportunities for those students that some institutions may not consider, they may not be first on their list to recruit. Well, they are for us. This is an incredible institution with incredible traditions and history. But shame on us for not wanting to be more than the best kept secret in Texas. Because when you're the best kept secret, that means you are diminishing opportunities. I feel like that Tarleton should be an institution that every single person should have the opportunity to attend because it is so special. And so by growing that profile, we tell more people about Tarleton. President James Hurley's background in the fields of East Kentucky has translated well to the Lone Star State, and his vision to make Tarleton State University the premier comprehensive regional university in the nation 
is born of the ability to discern a diamond in the life of every student. Well, I want my legacy to be 100% focused on student success. And, and I always want our students to know that they had a president that cared not only about them as, as a student, but as a person. And that I always had an open door, open arm policy. And my wife, Kendall, she prides herself in that as well. And much like Dr. Dottavio and Lonset, they were, they were very similar. We want to focus on meeting the needs of our students and giving our students every advantage of being successful. In 1899, John Tarleton's gift laid the foundation to educate. Today, we announce the Tarleton Promise to build on his vision and lift barriers for high-performing students in the most financial need. Embedded in the university's DNA, the Tarleton Promise extends funding for these students beyond maximum state and federal aid for tuition and fees to cover books and room and board, private funding, and support from the Texas A&M University System, cornerstones of the Tarleton Promise, will keep our founder's legacy alive. It has never been more true. Donors take our university even higher, ensuring a better future for our region, state, and nation, while enriching students destined to be leaders and elevating the trajectory of their families.